Hey guys, what's up? Eddie Alho here with KissAnalog.com. Today we have Star in the lab. It's a microscope, digital microscope. It has a large display. I put one together probably a couple years ago, and for some reason I've just never done a review, never showed you guys the thing. It wasn't inexpensive. It was like I bought the display separate and the microscope and then the stand and put them all together. And it's actually a pretty nice setup. It's just big, and I mean that that adds some niceties to it if you have big things you need to put underneath. But this one's more compact, but yet it has a larger display, and the specs are really good on it. Let me just so here I'll put it on the bench. Let's take a look at it. All right, guys, I just thought I'd show you the manual real quick. There's the basic parameters if you want to pause and look at those. And here's the pieces. So that's what it's gonna look like. I'm gonna show you that here in just a moment. A couple of spring clips for the stand. You have a little light here. Yeah, I'll show you all this, it's pretty cool. Your display, and look, what I like is all these things, your display, the lights, um, everything is all powered by one input, which is nice, because my other one has several power cords. Yeah, you can see the picture the details of some of these how close you can get i'm going to demonstrate this as well so yeah i just wanted to show you the manual how well it's put together so it's easy to to read and it's put together with nice color pictures all right and here's the box let me just show you the box uh just want to kind of show you how well it's packaged uh because yeah it has this you know foam with the double wall uh cardboard so and then there's a, everything is wrapped up you know nicely bagged and then every you know this nice foam thing with all these compartments there is the hdmi cable there's the power cable the remote control here's some extra knobs for the stand the little aluminum knobs and then I think these are light pipes. That kind of looks like a little tube. I think it's just, you know, depending on how you want to spread your light. And this one here is, like you can see, it's a cone. And this one's more of a round little boxy cylinder. So that's, uh, I think these are just light pipes to, like I said, to adjust your light. And then here we have one with the mirror. And then there's a black dude. So, yeah, not sure what all these guys are used for. I haven't gotten that far. But, yeah, taking out the foam, you can see how it's compartmentalized. So all the pieces, they were all placed in their own compartment. And it was, you know, it went together very easy. All right, I haven't powered it on, obviously. Uh, but look how huge this display is. It's gigantic. Uh, what I want to show you is here's a little control, but it puts all the power together in one spot. Let's turn around and look at the base. So you got these little springy guys you can use. You can leave them off if you don't want them, if you just want to use it as a flat surface. But you have these little arms that are totally flexible for your li your lights, okay? So that way you can put light on your subject. Here's the other one on the other side. And then you can see this thing down here tilts, okay? So when you tighten that down, you can tighten it at the angle you want. I think most of the times, maybe straight up, right? And then here's a little collar, okay? This slides up and down, so it just is like an extra support or a stopper. Like you can move this thing up and down, and then it'll rest on this, and then you can pull it up and tighten it if you want. So you can use it in different ways. and. You got your vertical adjustment, a knob on either side. And this guy here is, uh, I think that adds tension or locks it in place. And then up here, there's another collar tied to this flexible arm. And this is like an endoscope. So it's pretty cool. I'll show you that on the screen. So you have this endoscope. I think this is what comes with the Pro. I'm not positive if that's the difference, but Here's your light, or your, yeah, I think this is your light adjustment for that. And again, it all connects up in here. So all your power comes down to one spot and you got control for all your lights and everything, power on off and 
control. So let's plug it in and I'll show it to you. All right, guys, look at that big display. Isn't that nice? Now, with the remote control, I can see the advantage of the remote because you have all these things you can do versus go through the menu. I'm going to kind of show you the, the menu, but uh, let me just show you this. See that window right here? That is the endoscope right here. So I'm kind of pointing it just in the board in general. And then up here, you can see this card that this lens is focused on. So I turn this guy right here to focus that. Okay. So you can put these lights at a different angle. See how you can get some contrast. You can move them around to get just enough contrast, especially on these kind of things where they're laser etched markings. So sometimes you need to get the angle of the light so that you can read the, read the laser etching, okay? So then here, I'll just move the board around so you can see some other circuitry there. And yeah, so moving this guy down here, I can focus on that. And on the endoscope, same thing, right up here though, up at the top. So I'm pointing down here at the board, Okay, and then what I do is I just move this and I'll show you, I'm just focusing right here. And this guy is so, has so much zoom on it that if I'm going at an angle like this where these things are further away than this, then the focus, you have to be careful, you know, which part you want to focus, right? So now what I can do with this guy is I can hit this button Okay, so I hit this button right here, okay? Turn off the that display and display so the endoscope's gone, or I can hit it again and just get the endoscope taking up the whole screen. So that's pretty cool too, right? And then hit it again, and I got the picture in picture. I'll just go with that one for right now, but it's pretty neat how you can play around with this and do all kinds of things. I mean, this screen is huge. So the picture in picture you can actually use. Now, just to show you some of the controls, this guy here, I can adjust this knob so I can pull this endoscope up and down, okay? Or I can rotate it, you know? And these arms give you all kinds of flexibility to move it everywhere. So I wanna show you some more controls up here over on this side. So uh, you have this little wheel here that tightens this bar here so you can slide this back and forth so if you have a product and you don't want to once you get it focused and you don't want to move anything you can use this just to scooch back okay and then then of course the one on this side loosens this so it goes up and down and then this guy's just a stop or you can bring it up to give it some more support if you you know you thought you need but basically it's just another position so just to show you a close-up of that you just put that where you want it so yes this guy tightens this bar from sliding back and forth or this knob tightens this block from sliding up and down on this and this knob here controls the slide back and forth and then these knobs which you have a left and right uh control you know, zooming up and down, okay? So you can actually zoom and get a lot closer with, you know, positioning the lens closer or further away from your product, okay? But you also have this guy, you can zoom right here. So yeah, look at that, just zoom right in on that. And those are pretty small parts. Those are 0603s maybe, maybe they're 0402s. They're pretty small. And then you can zoom away, but you know, you can kind of look on the board to see if things soldered correctly. If you got any kind of issues, you know, maybe a pin's not soldered. So yeah, it just gives you all kinds of, you know, flexibility when you can actually see, you know, how things are, you know, how it looks when you're that close. I'm not sure if I showed you the, the microscope itself. It's this guy, this tube right here with all the glass elements in it. And this part right here is what you turn to focus. And then, you know, down here is tight. 
And right here at the bottom, I think is where you can put filters in place. Okay, so I think there is a UV filter on that right now. But yeah, and then here's a little board we're looking at. So that was kind of fun, right? All right, and so just point out the remote control, what it looks like, and the tools that come with it, and then the control over here for power on, you know, for the lights, okay? But, oh, you know what? Let's go walk you through the menus so we can see what the menu looks like. So, now, you know what? Before I do that, let me just show you what the remote control can do. I hit this guy, and it'll, it'll turn on the Wi-Fi, okay? So... Just clicks on, turns on the Wi-Fi. There's a freeze button, so it'll freeze the image, I guess. So it'll hold it for you. Okay, and the mode button changes the screen resolution, it looks like. And then no file. Not really sure. Oh, it goes from video to camera, it looks like. Okay, video, yeah, it's your mode, your video, your camera, or uh, it goes to a file. So you have your plus and minus things. Let me see. Let me show you the... Here's this, you can change the brightness right here with the control. I mean, you can always adjust the brightness of the lights back here. Then you have a contrast control. Okay. And then this, this one right here, watch what it does. That's pretty cool, huh? So it might actually help you look at it from this point of view. Maybe something will be illuminated that wasn't is obvious with this one but now you can also the button right next to it goes to black and white so maybe that helps you so go back to color there's a default set you can lock all your settings right here okay so let's go to the menu then up in menu if i just said okay it's selected on camera right now it gives me all these things i can go to resolution and it gives me all these different resolutions, okay? So let's just go to up here and select that guy. And then exposure. I can go and select some kind of exposure if I want. Uh, there's your date time, your sharpness. Now here's that freeze control, contrast, and color. So some of those things were just on the remote control, right? Now if I go uh, back to the left, so it goes out of that menu so I can select this guy up here. Then I hit OK again on the remote and it gives me that one. All right, so from there I can go down to Wi-Fi. Uh, here's a grid setting. Now if I go to uh, grid settings and if I go on, you see it gives me a red crosshair, if you can see that. And then if I go to, here I'm gonna turn that off. And then I'll go down to lines. And if I turn on lines, it gives me all these different uh, lines. So you might want a color grid like that. Hopefully it's coming out in the camera. And then here, I'll go back and turn that off. And then directions, horizontal. Oh, there's vertical. So you can change. It looks like I'm changing the uh, location of these lines. So once you have the lines on, you can go mess around with them. Here's location so I can jump around the different. Yeah, I'm kind of moving this line around. So I'm selected the red one. So when you go up to um, up here, you can say, okay, I've got the red one. Let's go to line orange, which is this one, you know, or, uh, or the green one, which is kind of hard to see in this picture. <laughs> so yeah, so anyway, there's white, here's yellow. So here's the yellow. And then you come down and say, okay, I want to change it to horizontal or vertical. So you can change those things and you can change the position of it. And I guess I can go back to color. Oh, I can change the color of the line itself. Okay. And then wide, if I want to go thicker at the line. So that's kind of cool. So I'm going to come back up here. I'm just going to go turn the grids off. I'm going to go to off on this one, turn them all off. Okay. And then uh, you got... All right, then you got your date and time, language, frequency. See, it's 50 or 60 hertz. Uh, format, default settings. So that's some of these things are right on the on the uh, remote. 
So some of these things are right on the remote, so it makes it easy that way. So yeah, there you go. This is quite the machine. This is pretty awesome, I think. Uh, I'll be using this a lot more on my reviews, like multimeters and, and when I'm uh, evaluating boards and stuff like that. So pretty sweet. All right, so I just thought I'd show you the actual screen recording so you can see what it looks like. There we go. And I'll move the board around so you can see things. So, yeah, I mean, it looks great, huh? This is a great lens. There's another chip right there that's has some heat... Sh um, heat sinking compound on it and this this one looks like it has some damage right so let's just zoom in on that a little bit oops I have to move the card yeah so looks like a little bit of burn mark there so it's pretty cool that we can zoom in like that all right guys what do you think it's a pretty cool unit, huh? I like how compact it is and the large display. And the Sentinoscope is kind of adds a kind of a new dimension. The picture in picture, that's pretty cool. Hey, I want to give two thumbs up to Ann and Star for sending this out to me. It's the AD409 uh, Pro, I believe, is what the number is. These things, uh, the price is all over the park because they have so many different uh, models. Uh, under $100 dollars you know, all the way up to, I think this on sale is around 350 with the endoscope. Without it, I believe it's closer to like just under $300, somewhere around there. Uh, I'll put the links Amazon down below, but yeah, use the links. It's a free way to support the channel. They give me a little bit, very little bit. Yeah, anyway, okay, so, <laughs> but I want to, the Anastar sent this out to me for free to review, so appreciate it. Thanks very much. It's going to come in very handy. I'm going to use it in a lot of the different videos I do on reviews and where I open up things. And also just uh, when I'm looking at a board and I want to see, well, when I'm soldering, for instance. So, yeah. And then, uh, you know, with the little kids, they enjoy looking at things underneath this. So it's fun for the family. And, yeah, there's a lot of uses for something like this, I think. Um, but anyway, it'll work great on my bench. So, hey, two thumbs up to my members of my channel. Really appreciate you guys. And two thumbs up to my patrons. I think I just got another patron. That's pretty awesome. It's a slow growth thing, but hey, I got one. <laughs> and uh, and someone bought me a beer so I can do a rant. So I need to do a rant. So appreciate it. Thank you very much. Uh, put the names here, of course. But all right, guys, thanks for watching. Free ways to support the channel is just hit the like button down below. And right there is also the super thank you button. But no, yeah, uh, there's free ways to support the channel. Just liking the video, sharing it, things like that. That really supports the channel. And I appreciate all that. Appreciate you guys watching. And I appreciate Star for sending this out to me. It's going to be very helpful in my lab. So thanks a lot. Hey, we'll see you next time.